suppose we are starting question number one now, where x is the displacement is equal to t cube minus 15 over 2 t square plus 18 t. You are going to find out the total distance covered in 6 seconds b part the average speed during this distance we know one thing that whenever they are going to give us the displacement or the velocity for any equation there with the variable acceleration you first have to find out the velocity whether they ask or they don't ask you are going to find out the velocity and then you put the velocity equal to zero to find out those timings where it has either the turns or not turns. So we know V is equal to dx over dt. That thing is equal to 3t square minus 15 over 2 into 2t plus 18. If we take 3 common from this, it should be equal to 3 square minus 5t plus 6 equal to 0. And then t square minus 5t plus 6 equal to 0. t minus 2 into t minus 3 equal to 0. Our t values equal to 2 and 3 there. So that is why I'm asking that first take the velocity and then put it equal to 0 to find out the turning point of that particle there. So this particle is having three type of resistance in there. So how it is possible? You are going to make it zero there, then it is two, then it is three, and then it is up till six. So it is first displacement, then it is the second displacement, and then it is the third displacement there. But graphically, it is like this, that it is from origin. For the first two seconds, it is moving this and covering this distance. Then for the next two to three, it will be like this. But this is the distance which has covered back from this distance. And then t is equal to 6, that means this distance, but the particle is at this position. So from this till this position, that is x3 there. So you are going to calculate x1, x2, and x3 for that part. Now, if t is equal to 0 to 2 for x1, from t is equal to 0 to 2 second, then x is equal to already given to us. So it should be equal to 2 cube minus 15 over 2 into 2 square plus 18 into 2. That thing is equal to 8 minus 30 plus 36. So it is 44 minus 30, that is equal to 14 meter. So it has covered till t is equal to 2 seconds, 14 meters. This is x1 there. Then you put x from 2 to 3 seconds. So x is equal to, when it is 3, it should be equal to 3 power 3 is 27 minus 15 over 2 into 3 square plus 18 into 3. So that thing is equal to 27 minus 15 into 9 over 2 plus 54. That thing is equal to 
13.5 meter. So second time it is at this position from O there, 13.5. So in fact, it was first as having a distance of 14 meter. So this distance is going to be covered in the second displacement of that. So X2 should be equal to 14 minus 13.5 and that thing is equal to 0.5 meters. Then in the next part, when T is equal to 3 to 6, so you just find when T is equal to 6 for that, so X3 is equal to 6 cube minus 15 over 2 into 6 square plus 18 into 6. This is 216 minus 15 over 2 into 36 plus Two hundred sixteen minus fifteen into eighteen. So that thing is equal to. Fifty-four meters. So, this distance is basically equal to fifty-four meters. And the particle is already at this position there. Total distance is equal to First, it has covered a distance of 14 meters. Then it is covered a distance of 0.5 meters. And then it has covered a distance of 40.5 meters. So this is equal to 14 plus 41. So for 55 meter is the total distance traveled by that particle in this interval of zero to six seconds there. Then they are asking the average speed. We know that for average speed is the total distance over total time. So that is equal to 55 over 6. Or that thing is equal to 9.16 meters per second. So this is the way that you are solving this type of the questions where you are going to find out the turning points also for that curve there.